good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, I have got a new tutorial that I want to show you real quick. Um, one thing that I have noticed is that people who are just using Cricut Design Space to design um, and use a script font, they don't realize that uh, the script font isn't coming out the way it should. Um, a script font should be connected, just like when you're writing in cursive, your letters are connected. Um, but for some reason, Cricut Design Space just doesn't play very nice with those script fonts. So, um, so I'm going to show you quickly how you can um, go ahead and connect your letters like they're supposed to. Part of that is welding um, at the end, welding all of your letters together. And a lot of times what happens is someone goes back to that project and they don't know what font that they used. And so what I someone um, mentioned earlier today is that there is a way to know what font you used even after you welded um, that text together. So I'm going to add that in at the end. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to text. And I'm going to pick my font. And I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to type my words. So you'll see here, like I said, Cricut Design Space does not play well with script fonts. My letters are all disconnected. Um, some people use the, the letter spacing and stuff, but I like to just do it manually. To me, it's quicker. Um, I can put them exactly where I want them, and then I'm done. So the first thing you do is you come over here and you hit ungroup. So now my letters are all ungrouped. Then I'm just going to start scooting them over to where they're just touching. So there was the A, there's the T, and just scoot them to where you think that they look right. Um, so I wish I had like a fast forward button or that I could do this like super duper fast. The good thing is, is I'm just doing a few letters so it's not going to take too horribly long. La la la, see I'm giving you some music. Doo -doo -doo. See that was my computer. And the last one. Okay, and then if this is all going to be together, you could also kind of move these closer just because, like I said, everything kind of doesn't get spaced right. So here is what it should look like where my letters are connected. Now, you can't just hit attach here because what will happen is if you just attach them, it's still going to cut each letter out individually. Um, but if you go ahead and weld them, then it's going to make it where it's like a single piece for each word. So I'm going to select all, and you can do that by just dragging. You can use your uh, keyboard and do a control A. Or up here, you can hit select all. And we're going to weld right down here. And it welds it. And then I look to make sure, because sometimes if you get your letters too close, it'll blacken out um, some of these little holes and stuff. But you can see here that didn't happen. So then I would go and cut it, and I'd go about my day. Well, maybe next week I decide, oh, I really like that font that I used, and I can't remember what it is. And I don't know, if you're like me, I've got, let me see here, I think like almost two, uh, yeah, almost 2,000 fonts here in my library. So I don't want to sit here and scroll through all of these fonts. So what I can do is I can come over here and I can click right here in my layers panel where the, I can change the color. And right here it says see image information. And boom, even though it's welded, it still tells me what font that I used. So that's a little extra bonus, something I didn't know because again, I don't create my designs in Cricut Design Space. Um, but someone asked about this earlier, someone else answered them and said, oh yes, right here it tells you what the font was. So the only thing is, I think if you had other fonts and you welded it all together, then you might not be able to because there would be multiple fonts. I'll play with that and see, but again, I don't know. But I do know if it's one font welded together, you can still come right here and see what font that it is. So anyway, hope you guys have a great, wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.